I have a dog. Come here. I'm not gonna put you up because you're so big. Look at her. Hello. Hi. This queen. She's four months old and she's a great Dane and she's my baby. She's a big baby. Look at my big baby. Hello, big baby. She actually looks in here like a baby. She's a big baby. Love you, you need a bath. Ooh. That was the least graceful way to put her down. Hello. I'm finally filming another video. I, truth be told, I've actually filmed a couple of videos in the last couple of months, but I just haven't had the motivation to edit them and actually post them. And anyway, I've decided to finally do something. It's not, I'm not gonna be doing my makeup today because I wanna clean all of my makeup brushes and my palettes and like organize my vanity and stuff like that. So today I've decided that I want to go ahead and film me cleaning my brushes. And we're in quarantine right now. I don't even know what day of quarantine we're on. Uh, but I, I wanna get this done. So I'm, I'm gonna do it. And this is probably all gonna be fast forwarded and with music in the background, I'm gonna be listening to my favorite podcast, Two Girls, One Ghost. I, I saw a hack where you can use one of those like handheld spaghetti strainers like one of the metal ones that is really thin. I don't own one of those, but I do own this little mini handheld spaghetti strainer. And I think it'll only work for brushes that are that are bigger. I don't think it'll work for, for little baby guys right here. But I do have this guy that I got from BH Cosmetics like two, three years ago almost. And this is great. I'm honestly gonna just pop that in the sink and I'll have a little cup. You can see it's disgusting because it's literally just used for water and soap. <laughs> it's really gross to dip the brush in and then clean it off. I'll probably do a couple of brushes at the same time because I want to get them clean. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and queue up my podcast and go ahead and get everything ready to go and we'll get these brushes clean. So I was doing my best to keep the drip of the soap and the dirty stuff, the dirty gunk coming out so you could see it. So if I move back and forth, it's just because I realized, oh, you can't really see it. And I also tried to cut out all of the brushes that weren't as dirty. I only kept like the, the dirtiest ones that I had because some of them actually were not used they just have been sitting around and getting dusty so I wanted to clean all of them but I made sure to keep like the the grossest ones in here for you guys
right, so obviously here is where I started with my smaller brushes and using the little pad from BH Cosmetics. Sorry about the angles. Somehow between doing my larger brushes and my smaller brushes, the angles got a little bit weird. I do eventually fix it, but right now, I'm sorry about it. <laughs> Uh, however, I actually did not enjoy using this, hence why I'm cleaning it off right now. And I'm actually going to go back to seeing if the spaghetti strainer will work. And uh, yeah, it works perfectly fine. So I definitely think this is a really good hack. I thought that cleaning my brushes was super easy and very convenient. And I don't know about you but I'm feeling 22, no, I'm just kidding. <laughs> uh, this was just in my drawer, so it's pretty easy to find and a really simple hack and you don't have to go and buy really expensive like brush cleaning tools and stuff like that. So this is actually, in my opinion, my grossest brush. This is the brush that I use for concealer and like cutting the crease. So it just gets caked in concealer. Hence why I really dug in there and I even went in there with my hand in just a second to really clean all of it off because it was, <laughs> it was pretty disgusting. Wow, she finally fixed the camera angle. Bravo, what a professional. We are coming up to the end of the smaller brushes and this is just like a parade of gross brushes at the end here. So I kept pretty much all of them in here. And I, for some reason, lost the footage of me cleaning the brushes, but also I don't really think that is necessary. You understand like washing the brushes off. But since it's not here in the video, I just wanted to clarify, yes, I did wash the brushes off before I put them out to dry, which is gonna be the next clip that you're gonna see in just a few minutes.
dog, what are you doing? What are you doing? What are you eating? 